The fellow that took me under his wing on the intercom, because then I'm in the turret over it, he said, see those dots to your left up there? And, he, and, and uh, in other words, he said like, let's say nine o'clock or whatever it was, uh, high. And I looked at it and he says, that's the Luftwaffe coming in. That was my first mission. And I said, oh God, <laughs> am I gonna make it or not? You have no idea whether you're gonna be scared, whether you're gonna freeze and can't even fire the machine guns because you're so scared. You just don't know what's gonna happen. And I was just hoping that I would do what I was trained for, which was to protect the airplane from the bottom. The ball turret uh, is all plexig <laughs> plexiglass all around. So bullets or ACAC or anything, it can go right through it. It's, it's not uh, what you'd call uh, um, bulletproof. <laughs> Flack hit my leg, and it felt like somebody grabbed a baseball bat and swung it and hit me as hard as they could on the leg. It also cut my oxygen hose. And if it hadn't been for getting hit, and calling the pilot and letting them know that it happened, I would have died there because nobody would have known what happened because I didn't know the oxygen mechanism. You just go out, no oxygen. And yeah, the hose just comes right down here. It, it didn't cut my throat or nothing, just the, uh -uh, the hose. On day day, when we were over the target, I had trouble breathing because of pneumonia. I could hardly breathe. But in my mind, I didn't want to endanger the crew because I could have called the pilot on the intercom and said, I'm having trouble breathing. And he probably would have lowered the plane a little, but I did not want to endanger him. <laughs> so I didn't say anything. 